So I went to take the trash out and check it out. Winter, fall, winter, fall. Thank you. Why are you coughing? The air is spicy. Mm. Real time, real time. We're gonna make a separate video for this because this is actually unboxed and then reboxed and then unboxed. Yeah, which means the male people probably hate it. I think they still like us because we got our jumbo mailbox so they can put most everything. Oh, but they didn't use the mailbox today. Oh, it's not even, oh, it's more than what I thought it was. Okay, so. I like that packaging. Open sesame oil because Asian food. We go through one of these filters for the refrigerator probably more than the every 90 days that. Oh, it's more than. No. I think it's probably more than average. I don't think so. How long are they supposed to last? 90 days. Then it lasts longer than that. Okay. I was thinking six months and it lasts longer than that. The last time Amazon said I bought one was in February. Man, maybe it's just because they're kind of expensive. It seems like we buy them all the time. The price went to like half. Did it? Yeah. Oh, that's because old fashioned. It's old now. Yeah, compared to what the old. Oh, cool. Well, maybe I'm totally wrong. That's awesome. I mean, in that case, I mean, you know. The big box. I think this is a box in a box. Is it? I'm pretty sure. It's not as exciting as some mail days because we bought this. Box. Mail days are. Oh, there's more in that box than I bought too. Mm -hmm. Raw one. Mm -hmm. So when you try to take a good multivitamin, most of the time you have to take more than one a day. So I like that brand because the reason it says one, raw meaning it's based on food, one meaning I only have to take one a day. Okay. That's not what I thought. Okay. Well, I'm glad I had to find that then. And ramen, because not all ramen is cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and not all ramen is created equal. Because not all ramen vegans can eat. Yep, this is miso based. It's delicious and spicy. Yep. And again, an Asian box I can't read and it's from California. Yep. Number one in Japanese made in California. Sanyo Food Corp. I thought they made like cheap boom boxes. Sanyo. Like in the like in the eighties and nineties. Let me see how you say it. Sanyo was the company that like Magnavox made the good one, but normal people could only afford the Sanyo. Hmm. Still need to look at that anchor thing. Okay. Filter change. Done. There's people starving in Somalia, you know. It does this every time. Is it gurgling? You can hear it, probably. Yep. I think it should have its urinary tract checked. This can't be a healthy stream. No. If this happens to you, call your doctor. What's up, everybody? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. So we're going to shoot an unboxing video uh, for this Samsung 360 because I shot it the other day and it was good and it was in the car and it was fun and I deleted it. So here we go. I won't make you watch it twice. 7.42 p.m. Sunday night. Hashtag working on Sunday. That post the other day that I got invited to be a part of where somebody was like, hey, please watch this sales video and yes. tell me what you think of it and how much you agree with it. And it was literally the name tag sales generation right. of people like, these people that are like, sell, 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 
um, this is how you should talk to old ladies to make sure that you can sell stuff. And they asked me, they're like, what do you think of this video? And I'm just like, I literally commented, and I don't like to be negative on other people's posts, but they asked me for my opinion, and I was like, I don't agree with nothing in that post. It should be about relationship building and... Did they message you back at all? Like, no, was there no. any follow-up to that? There was no follow-up at all. Ah. I still feel, even in 2000, almost 2018, that people are still too spammy. I'm guilty of it, sometimes. <clears throat> and, uh, well, so, again, Tinted Music and Mascara is about reforming ourselves, too, and getting better. I completely stopped posting... Like in Facebook groups and stuff. Right. I just... I, And I wasn't even selling stuff. I wasn't even selling stuff. All I was doing was sharing... But it was perceived as spam or... I guess. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. But I just feel like... <clears throat> You're pushing? Yep. Yeah. Even just to expand my audience. Like, even just to say, hey, come watch this video. I'm not going to do it anymore. This is a good talk. Because from a don't spam perspective I was because I do feel like maybe my videos are like that um, because I do have a product to offer so I was literally gonna try to just shift that to my personal private group um, but then I'm not finding a new audience so that's not helpful either okay to make new connections that's the thing so here's the thing in order to find new audience, you have to give them content that is of value to them without right. being any benefit to you whatsoever. Right. Which is weird. Because then they're like, well, how do you how do they know what you do? How do they know what you offer? If they like you and if they are your audience, if they're the person that's gonna be buying from you in the future, they'll go find out. I've done this experiment for the last two weeks. Where I did not post in, I did not do any outreaching posts on social media at all. None. I did not go to any groups. I did not go to any other Facebook pages and say, hey, check this thing out. I did none of that for about two weeks. And what I found is my traffic on my own, and I, of course I shared every day, multiple times a day, on my own on Instagram, own yeah. on my own Snapchat, right. on my own Facebook, on my own Facebook page, and on Music and Mascara. And the traffic, and not just the traffic, not just the clicks, but the engagement, like the willingness of people to want to have conversations, and the new names and faces that are present, on my YouTube, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and my Facebook is going through the roof. Like old school sales is qualify, qualify, pre-qualify, filter, lead generation. Yeah. All like that funneling. stuff. Funneling. <clears throat> yes. This is give things away. Like give value. Just give away value. Give away value. On YouTube. On it. But... On, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on your own personal Facebook pages. Give it away, give it away, give it away, give it away. Just like the Red Hot Chili Pepper song. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a completely different approach and I am well, so Well, and it's the same it. idea between, you know, people used to think like the more likes you have and the more um, followers you have, etc. is important. And it's not necessarily as important as the engagement, as the authentic audience. So it's almost like you have to have two things. It's almost like you have to have your business and like all your stuff that you're selling on your page and on your website and all that. And then you also have to have something in your life, some outlet for content that has nothing to do with your business. Maybe it has something to do with your business, but it's more centered around you as a person like what makes you go like the stuff that you like your personal the things that make you tick share that with people make people interested in you and be like what does that guy do we saw this happen last night we went out to see some music <clears throat> a guy who has been following me 
on YouTube and on all the social media for the last probably, I don't know how many years, never met him in person, walks up, heard my voice. Yes, I recognize your I voice. I recognize your voice. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was really neat. Not in the, ooh, sort of Until ego side of it. Until called me a groupie. Not yeah. a groupie. Sorry. Yeah, you're not a groupie. <laughs> but the point is, Nor am I nobody. he was... felt like he had some sort of relationship and he said the words, do you have anything with you? I'm ready to buy. Right. I never sold to that man one time in my life. But, and that is one instance in times a thousand times a thousand times a thousand times a thousand that could happen if you do this.